Hello everybody, today we are going to do second part or advanced video of PID using Altevar Process 600 drive. So let's continue and just one reminder, if you started this video and you haven't watched already basic, please watch basic part first, just that we can continue properly. Now let's go on. So what we will see in this video is we will need to set up a task. So we will do like a booster station. Then we will see what is equipment for our task, which equipment we will use, and it's going to be our pump demo bench. Then we will make some of configuration of the drive according to our PID settings. And then we will make demonstration practical on our pump demo bench. We will also use scope to follow some values and so on. And after that, we will analyze a scope trace of our demonstration. So what is our task? First of all, we need to set up parameters of our pump. So we need to set up minimum and maximum speed of the pump which is 25 for minimum 55 hertz for maximum speed after that we need to set up our sensors so we have pressure sensor we have flow sensor we need to put some pid set point everything up to now is going to be set by analog inputs then we need to set up auto manual with logical input and we will then use another analog input for speed set point in manual mode. Now our pump demo bench, as you can see, it contains three pumps. Here we can simulate almost all Altivar Process 600 pump functions. But for, for this, we are going to use only one drive, which is, as you can see, the left drive on this setup actually this drive down on on the left and the motor is going to be directly below this motor is running this pump so you can see this motor and this pump particularly now what do we have in the background just to see how our pump demo bench looks is approximately this now first view looks maybe a little bit a lot of piping system complex but let's see what we have this is the tank with the water down there there is a pipe going directly to the pump feeding a pump after that that pump is pushing the water up to this middle part on which we have a pressure sensor here we are checking output pressure then water continues through our flow meter and after that is going back to the tank over the valve on which we can simulate the flow request that's it for the pump demo bench and introduction now we continue with some move settings and here we are in some move as you can see we already connected to a drive and our drive is 0.75 kilowatts. Additionally, you can see that we have additional output relay module and we have additional digital and analog IO module in this drive. We will need it for additional analog inputs mainly. So now before you begin, you need to set up basic parameters for the drive and basics parameters are always setting up a proper nameplate of the motor into the drive doing an auto tuning additionally we change some fan management and then we set up the ip address to be able easily to connect to this drive and do a scope when you do that then you can go to the application then you can start to work on your application parameters and in our particular example it's going to be mainly PID and everything that surrounds it and that means that before we begin 
because we will, we will use some pressure and flow we need to set up user units and for pressure we are going to use bars and 0 0.01 bar and for flow we are going to use 0 0.1 cubic meter per hour when we set that up we can continue in setting our sensors in a way to scale them to the proper value we know which value our pressure and flow meter provides according to their analog outputs 4 to 20 milliamps so first of all outlet pressure sensor is on AI4 and then additionally installation flow or pump flow in this particular case is at analog input 5 when you set this up this is automatically linked and now you need to scale the values according to your, your user units and according to the analog output of those sensors so our sensors are current sensors 4 to 20 milliamps and for pressure because we are using 0 0.01 bar uh, from 0 to 2.5 five bars we need to put 0 to 250 to have correct scaling in our drive same must be applied for our flow meter 4 to 20 milliamps and 0 to 200 to be able to have 0 to 20 cubic meters per hour that means that the drive will have correct values when he is reading our sensors now that we have our sensors set we can continue configuring our function which is going to be PID at this point still you can choose additional thing like what type of the application it is and in the beginning we say that it's going to be a booster for pure PID it doesn't need to be a booster station because booster station automatically uh, is applying that this can be a multi-pump system or something like that not only pure PID but for that let's go here you can leave it a generic pump control but also you can select booster at this moment we will not enter complete booster settings of our drive we will only do PID let's move to PID so type of the control it's obvious we will need to set up for a pressure so we need to first of all select yes we are going to have pressure regulation with our drive and then we can continue on the second part so our feedback is our pressure sensor on output but we need to additionally scale it that means that analog input 4 is our feedback that means that we have 0 for minimum and we have 2.5 bars for maximum feedback now additionally we can also set up our process units technically speaking this is your set point setup so when you are setting your set point of your pressure in the system these are the minimum and maximum values that you can set up your set point additionally we will put zero and two and a half bars for warning level just to for this particular application disable it and we will leave PID error warning at one bar which is going to be enough for our application not to trip it then we can continue on step number three here you handle the reference as we know we will handle our reference with analog input 1 and we will set it up with a potentiometer what we have connected to this analog input additionally we will set up PID ramp time just that we can ramp up and down if we change the reference this is one of the thing which can also influence oscillation during transition phase in your system now we move to 4 and at this point 
we will not touch PID we will leave it as it is you can see it's a proportional gain there is some integral gain and derivate is literally disabled what we will do at this point is to set up PID start frequency just to avoid instability area we will put this to the minimum running speed of our pump which is 25 Hertz so up to 25 Hertz we will have linear acceleration from 0 to 25 according to 5 seconds ramp time now at this point additionally what we need to set up for our task is auto manual selection for that we are going to use digit input 5 and reference is going to be from analog input 3 now at this point like always and this is particularly for me I always do this at the end which should be done as the first thing and that means setting up minimum and maximum speed of your pump so you, we need to LSP and HSP as we said HSP is 55 Hertz and LSP is 25 Hertz after you set this up technically you can test your application see how PID is working maybe additionally correct the response of PID controller but with this setup you should have normal working application without any oscillations now that we are finished with setting up our PID we will do a scope technically we will set it up then this scope will run during our practical demonstration so let's set up first some values and then set up also the sampling of our project of our scope first sample rate one second is going to be enough and then additionally we need to change duration just to have a little bit more space we will put it to 30 minutes now the values which we will follow so for first value let's follow the pressure which is our outlet pressure and then let's follow the flow this is interesting to compare how pressure is maintained regardless of flow then additionally let's follow speed of the motor just to see some correlation and then we can also follow motor power this I will explain at the end it's, it can be interesting for some of you and then additionally let's follow PID reference just to see if our PID is working correctly when you set up your scope you can run it and now we can go to our practical demonstration we continue with our practical demonstration here we are in front of our pump demo bench and everything is set up to be started we will start our drive with logical input 1 and see what will happen down here you can see SOMO scope trace in parallel what we set up in this drive so let's start the drive is ramping up and in certain moment the PID starts to work and it keeps the pressure set point which is set to 0.5 bars now at this moment flow is not so big and we will simulate additional flow request by opening the valve let's see what will happen you can see that flow is starting to go up there was slight decrease in pressure but drive compensate the PID is working let's do it a little bit more flow is going up up and the drive is slowly moving towards the high speed limit now let's try to reduce the flow we see a slight peak in pressure flow is going down 
but the drive is maintaining the pressure. Again, and the drive is going down. So we can see the drive is really keeping the pressure level and trying to do the best according to PID settings of proportional and int integral gain. Now let's check out the auto manual. With logical input 5 we can switch to manual and now the drive is no longer following the speed set point from PID but it's following analog input 3. If we increase, speed increases. If we decrease, speed will decrease. So we are in manual mode. As soon as we switch digital input 5 back, the PID will take over. And we see the PID ramps up to follow the pressure. That's it, technically. We can now stop the drive. And then we will do a little bit more thorough analysis of scope trace. Let's analyze our trace. So we will zoom in the area of our trace to have it more visible. And now let's first check PID reference and output pressure. As you can see here, reference is approximately 0.5 bars and actual pressure is constantly around. So we can see that the drive really kept the pressure on output according to PID set point. Now let's additionally compare output pressure and installation flow. Here you can see that flow is going from literally zero or we can say one up to almost five cubic meters per hour and also down and the pressure is more or less stable at 0.5, which is again a set point. Now, you can see here, at this point, we switch to manual and then we return it back to automatic. So this is when we were in manual mode, the pressure is not regulated. Now, let's check out one more and I would say interesting thing regarding this part. If we take installation flow and we check motor speed, we can see a certain pattern. As flow is going up, the speed is also going up. Same thing if the flow is going down, the speed is going down. Now let's see what is with motor power. Here it's even more visible that motor power is directly connected with installation flow and not with the pressure. This is it for our advanced video of PID. Hope you enjoyed it and catch you next time.